And in case you're wondering, when the baskets land at the bottom, this is how they get them back up for the next session. And here the price is there. It may seem a bit extortionate for two kilometers journey, but it is the only place in the world which offers anything remotely like this. And here's my ticket. Yes, I'm going for a ride. <laughs> I've got to put my bag in the front yeah. and with me on this you all know Lottie uh, Alonso is here as well on this trip to Madeira but unfortunately it was just too much fun for him right so here we go people all the way down yeah. and we have two drivers to guide us what's your name amigo Dinad Dinad and Juan. Juan how long have you guys been doing this for how long have you been working uh, ten years. Oh, ten years, wow. And five. Five. What do you think of it? You enjoy? Yeah. Oh, good. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Have you been involved in any accidents? Uh, no. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Very good, amazing. <laughs> oh, Had to stop there, have to let these vehicles oh, no. pass a couple of tour buses as well. Just for safety purposes, I guess. And we continue. <laughs> You enjoying this lot? <laughs> Shame Alonso couldn't come along. Alonso, if you're watching this, hello. <laughs> Look at that, you can see the view all the way down to Funchal in front of us going on this unique ride. And as I mentioned before, they've been doing this for over a hundred years now. So this is what to expect at the bottom station whilst they try and flog us our photos. <laughs> so this is it at the bottom where they load them all up into the truck, as you can see below, and then drive them back to Mont. And even the toboggan operators, they get a bus lift back up there too. And so I'm leaving the bottom toboggan station and I'm going to walk all the way down to it. I think it'll be Old Town Funchal. There's usually some taxi drivers hanging around trying to grab some business for themselves and charge you extortionate rates, but I want to take a scenic walk all the way down and a bit of exercise to boot too. So this is it, what's in front of me. And that's back to the toboggan operators there to the left. So we're gonna go this way and enjoy this pleasant jaunt this evening here in Funchal. So it's just over a mile to walk down, about two kilometers anyway, and we're now at Mercados dos Labradores, which is the farmer's market right in front of me there. So this will be the end point. Cars parked in a car park just a stone's throw away. It was a rather enjoyable walk, very exhilarating, and there was actually lots to see, quite a few interesting buildings too. So just forget the taxi if you're gonna do it, just make your own way down in your own time. And so whilst we're here, we'll have a quick gander into the market. I know it's after six o'clock, but they still seem open. And these are the local produce they sell 
quite a few fruit stands there to my right and this is actually from what I've heard a bit of a tourist trap so if you can buy buy from the street it's a lot cheaper and no doubt fresher and more organic but don't hold me on that though <laughs> this is a bag stand I remember taking a few photographs in 2017 when I was here and it was rather interesting to say the least But you have to admire the arrangements of the fruit. It's rather pretty, especially with all the colours and different varieties. And this looks like a few vegetables here, tomatoes and the like. And this is where the fish market is. There's nothing here. The best time is to catch it a much earlier in the day, preferably morning when they open. But it is worth visiting just to see the huge array of what they have to offer. And just looking down from the first level, I love the way they've decorated it with their vegetation and the flowers. It really brings life to the place. And there's a few stands up here for fruit and veg. And over on the other side, obviously, because I got here so late, they have shut up shop. But pretty nonetheless. Accidents can happen, even to the best of us. And this is outside the farmer's market. I thought I'd try something different for my dinner. I'm at Churascaria Sao Rock, just slightly up in the hills of Funchal. It's espatada and you get to cook it all by yourself if you choose to. I think it's the only way here. But it's gonna be fun and it's actually very reasonably priced too. Okay, so I've ordered it. This is the meat on the skewer, ready to be taken away to the grill to be cooked. So here I go and put it on. <laughs> Just there is it? Just there. Okay. Just look at that. How long will it take? Medium? Medium to medium. well done. Four minutes and the tight. Four minutes. Four minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay. Eight minutes. Obrigado. Yeah. So I think it would take a total of eight minutes, four minutes each side to cook it. So this is how it's progressing. I'm having the chicken and the beef on the right hand side and it's cooking most magnificently with the fire crackling to boot. A bowl of cacao, salad and fries to go with that. And here it is, skewer. Chicken wings on the left and beef on the right. And so, time to tuck in. I'm gonna make it into a, like a little sandwich with the wallet of the cacao. There's the beef, some salad on top. So, bon appetit as they say. <laughs> Yes, I'm stuffed and satisfied after that. I well recommend that place. And it only came to about 38 euro for three people. Well, Alonso had two skewers of meat, so that's why it came to a bit more. But I'd say it could average around maybe 10 euro per person, including all the extras and that. So that is it from me, Rue, for this episode in Madeira. Don't forget to like, subscribe, etc. You know what to do. And I'll catch you again on the next vlog. So until then, Bye. You have to love this Madeira sign. So here's my ticket. Barely supports. Oh wait.